better understanding of what a jubilee is. Amen. And they need to be in the forefront, as Pastor has taught us, training them the way that they should go. Amen. 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 All right, give a lot of hands. She she worked on this herself. We let them do it themselves. Amen. Dear Pastor, what you mean to me is that you will always be there for me, and you're a good pastor, and you're a, and you're a man of God, and that means you're kind, spiritual, and joyful. And I wish and I wish you have a blessed jubilee, and thank you for baptizing me. <laughs> All right. Now. <laughs> that was good. I said, uh, Lana, how are you? She said, I'm good, but I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took the chair. Let's give Brother Cameron Livingston a hand. Yeah. All right. What my pastor means to me. P, personable. A, awesome. Awesome Alvin, that is. S, sincere. He is tru he truly cares for us. T, teacher, because he teaches us the word of God. O, outstanding. R, radiant, because he brings joy wherever he goes. Our pastor is a true friend. He is there for us in good and bad times. He makes, he makes us, he makes sure he knows everyone's name, even if he doesn't say it right. <laughs> Especially the kids in the church. Pastor, we appreciate you. Oh, my oh. God. Now, this is uh, Cameron. <laughs> is, that, is that your name? No. You said sometimes I don't say it right, but what is it? Cameron. Cameron. Everybody say Cameron. Cameron. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for that. We are, I'm just going to share a, a scripture that uh, Katina and I, we actually prayed over. And we we're wanting to share just three minutes of uh, encouragement to our pastor. Amen. 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 And it comes from Exodus uh, verses 13 and 14. Amen. Yes. And uh, then it goes on, going down to 15. But I'll start at 14. It says, and God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Moreover, God said to Moses, this, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Amen? Amen. Amen. And those are uh, the words that, that God had given to Moses. And we know that Moses was reluctant to take on that task, much like Gideon. Amen? Yes. Because he didn't feel that he was the one that could do the job. Amen? But God said, tell them that I sent you, and I am Yahweh. Therefore, I'll give you everything that you need for the journey. Amen? I think it's an act of humility sometimes when we feel like we just don't have enough. We don't have enough resources. We don't have enough encouragement. We don't have enough participation. But God told Moses to go because I sent you and I will give you what you need. Amen? And I want to share this with you uh, at the closing of this. He says that, um, that in leadership, when you call you and pass reminders us that you're in training. But let me just read this to you. I thought this was uh, very appropriate. Moses needed to be told and shown several times that whatever he lacked, God would supply before he yielded to God's order to go. Godly leaders can feel inadequate to attack to the task God has set before them, but God never assigns a task for which he does not empower, 
the servant with the spirit of power and of love and of sound mind. Amen. I thank God for Dr. White because God has empowered him with the spirit of love and of sound mind to leave this flock. And I'm so glad that he sent a shepherd and put this flock together. And that's why we celebrate yeah. today. Give the Lord some praise. Amen. So with that, we have an opportunity to finish and close this celebration by giving your offering. <laughs> I brought my offering, so if you have that, we have...